In this video, we will be exploring all the locations and landmarks found in Red Dead Redemption 2's Nuevo Paraiso. Spanish for New Paradise, Nuevo Paraiso is one of eight territories in Red Dead Redemption 2, and comprises the entire presence of Mexico within the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. Nuevo Paraiso is the northern part of Mexico, separated from the United States by the San Luis River. It is composed of three regions, Punta Regalo, Perdido, and Diaz Coronas. Crossing the San Luis River into Mexico, we start our journey in Punta Regalo. There's not much to see as places like Escalera and Tesoro Azul have yet to have been built. We can assume at this time that places would be up and running, but because the players isn't meant to visit Mexico, Rockstar didn't bother adding many buildings. Heading east out of what would be Escalera, we can find Crooked Toes. A cluster of rock formations. By 1911, on a large rock, a hidden chest containing Brown's gold, the fifth treasure in the Treasure Hunter Challenge can be found, and another chest containing cash can be found at its base. Heading south a ways, we can find Sidewinder Gulch, the only other location returning in the area of Punto Argallo. Sidewinder Gulch is named for its twisting narrow canyons that pass through it. While traveling through these canyons with a wagon or stagecoach is possible, the narrow high-walled routes make the use of these vehicles very difficult. By 1911, the player can find an abandoned camp in the canyons. The tent at the back of the camp has a chest inside, where some money and a scrap of the bandito outfit can be looted. This is also the location where the Stranger Side mission Aztec Gold begins in the first game. Making our way into Perdido, the region is completely empty. However, there are still some beautiful sights to behold, such as Laguna Borrego, Slow up now. Hendra Grande, and the breathtaking arch, Oja del Diablo, Spanish for Eye of the Devil. By 1911, this area is home to Khan, the legendary Jaguar, which the player is tasked to hunt for rank 9 of the Master Hunter Challenge, and Douglas's Gold, the seventh treasure in the Treasure Hunter Challenge. Heading to the third and final region of Mexico, Diaz Coronas is home to some of the most beautiful natural land formations that can be found in Mexico, such as Alta Cabeza, a series of buttes, Mesa de Luna, Mesa del Sol, and Roca de Madra, where by 1911 Garrison's Gold can be found for Treasure Hunter Rank 8. Heading southeast from Roca de Madra is the location that would become El Matadero, a settlement where a main story mission and side mission in the first game take place. There's nothing to see up top, but heading down the trail leaving El Matadero, we find ourselves in an immensely tall canyon, home to a rather large cave. 
Unfortunately, the cave is blocked off, but we can still climb up to the second entrance to the cave, where in 1911 a chest can be found. Heading north out of El Matadero, we can find El Presidio, Spanish for the prison. It is the military fort where Vandalin gang member Javier Escuela would later find himself, and the only building located in Red Dead Redemption 2 is Nuevo Preso. This has been everything we know about Nuevo Preso, Mexico in Red Dead Redemption 2. Unless Rockstar themselves say anything, do know that nothing has been confirmed. There is no Mexico content coming to Red Dead Redemption 2 that we know of. Methods to get into Mexico will be left in the description below. Thank you for watching.